My name is Emiliano Ruiz. I'm a professor of international law and international humanitarian law at the University of Buenos Aires Law School. Uh, the competition Jean Pictet is unique in, in many senses. Uh, not only because it's the only competition I know of at an international level in which students behave in role playing so they can perceive different ways of dealing with international humanitarian law out of the traditional books, but only because it's the only worldwide competition dealing with international humanitarian law. So that means the law applicable in times of armed conflict. So during the whole competition, they can play different roles, trying to see how to use law, being delegates from the ICRC or military from an armed force or being maybe legal advisors to a minister of defense. So they can see during the week different ways of using IHL for their purposes according to the role. I did my, my Pictet 20 years ago, so at, at that time I was a student and, and for me it was, it, it was a life-changing experience. I mean, I, I could say that my life was in a certain way before the Pictet and it changed completely after the Pictet. Not only because I, I realized at that time that I wanted to work on international humanitarian law, but that there was also a huge number of people around the world who shared my, my interests. So I discovered that I was not alone in liking this branch of law, but there were a lot of people who were committed to humanitarian values, who knew that they wanted to work on issues related to humanitarian affairs. So for me, it was a way of discovering what I wanted to do in the future. When, when I think of, of the Pictet, 20 years ago, um, I usually smile because I mean all, all the memories I have are very are very positive. Um, first image is my team, my teammates. Uh, I, I still I'm very close to, to, to my teammates, even though we live in different countries. One of my teammates is in Chile, the other one is living in Spain for many years. Uh, and every time, for instance, we greet each other or we have our birthdays. Uh, first thing we do is we remember Picte. So we do a joke that we had 20 years ago. Um, we still remember the tutor we had at the time, who's still a professor at university. I come back to the competition every year. Um, not only I come back physically, but I'm thinking the rest of the year that I will come back the following year. So it's. Um, it's not only spending the week, it's thinking a lot before that week and then remembering the week long before that, that week of, of, of the competition. Um, almost all of the people who work at the committee for the Concours Jean Pictet, we're very busy. I mean, we, we, we teach a lot, we work at ministries, we work for the ICRC. So the truth is that we don't have a lot of time. Uh, in any case, even if we don't have time, we managed to take some time off to come here. And that's for several reasons. One is because every time it's, it's, it's very nice to meet young people who share that same interest and it reminds you of you when you were young and you had those same uh, wishes and desires and way of, of changing things. But also because we, in my case, I trust in, in, in the humanitarian values which are behind the competition. Um, even if we have a lot of fun, even if students have a great time sharing and eating together and, and, and talking to each other, the truth is that they are here for a reason. And that reason is that they firmly believe that they want to fight for, for humanity and, and that they want to stand for humanitarian values and for all that that relates to the protection of those who suffer in times of, of armed conflict. So, I understand why the people in the committee and, 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 and elsewhere, they want to come to the Pictet and spend the whole week. Sometimes they even take their holidays. They, they didn't have any holidays before and they decide to take a week off and they come to the Pictet. It's um, after each Pictet you feel sort of rejuvenated and you think that uh, you got your energies back. And this is because it, it represents a lot of what, you've, what you believe, which is basically uh, that humanity should be respected in, in the most terrible situations of, of conflict.